So we all know that Peter Obi yesterday held a, fre- a press conference where he talked about the certificate saga of our own dear president, Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Now, today, an Igbo brown envelope group came out and reacted to that press conference of Peter Obi yesterday, saying that Peter Obi was very wrong for asking President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to come out and reintroduce himself to the nation. Guys, watch the video and hear from them. them. No. No. Thank you. His past election, tr- and again, that takes me to today. You know, I'd already put up my speech, and suddenly I realized and I watched my own brother that I respect so much, Peter Obi, who is also a presidential candidate for Labour Party. He came up on a rise this morning to say that our president a man that is the number one man of this country should come out and explain his state. So by now, a man who served eight years as a governor, you don't know his state, should tell us his, his background educationally. Is that right? No. What am I trying to say here? It's an insult to Nigeria as a nation for you to call out our president who was massively supported and elected and confirmed and validated as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to come and stand before who? To say he's from this state, from this country, from this region, from the locality. Does he owe us that? No. no. What president owe us now is to take us to our destination of choice. Yes. So I'm disappointed in a man that I respect so much, my brother, who stood firm to run for the Igbos. He may not be turned now, but he could come in future. But whatever he does now is going to play out in future. So let us be cautioned and let all Igbos not be misled by this press interview that our own brother Peter will be granted their rights. Thank you. On this note, I once again call on my darling brothers and sisters, the Igbos from the Eastern region, to please embrace peace and unity. Meanwhile, today on Arise News, Dr. Abati also reacted and gave his own opinion concerning that same press conference. According to him, he said that conference was needless, being the fact that the case is already before the court. Hear what Dr. Abati has to say about that. When I saw the uh, press conference by Mr. Peter Obi yesterday, I thought it was needless. If uh, Mr. Peter Obi is considering a career in evangelism, yeah, there are many people who have gone from other careers into evangelism, you know, but within the framework of the electoral process, what he did yesterday was just, in my view, just seeking media attention, looking for publicity. Why do I say so? The electoral process is effectively a process. If you, as a principal member of the process, if you have any grievances, the best place to go to is the court of law, and which is what Atiku Abubakar has done, the presidential candidate of the PDP, pursuing his matter in the court of law. The last time Waziri Atiku Abubakar had a press conference, he came out and said he wanted the candidate of the NMPP, uh, uh, Rabiu Kwankwanso, to join him, and also Peter Obi of the uh, Labour Party to join him. The Labour Party re- released a statement and said they were not part of it. Okay, is it that now uh, the Labour Party has changed its mind? The only appropriate forum that uh, Mr. Peter Obi can adopt is to go to court to say he has issues to raise. But to come forward and then be issuing, uh, be giving a press conference and moralizing, it doesn't quite fall within the framework of the matter before us. But of course, for publicity purposes, for attention-seeking purposes, what he has said has generated attention. And I think that the uh, response that he has received from Felix Mocha of the APC is, is in place. What Felix Mocha has said is that the 8.9 million people who voted for Bola Ahmed Tinubu in the uh, uh, election, in the presidential election, they were not groggy when they did. So there's clearly a division on the matter in Nigeria. And the only place you can resolve it is not through propaganda, it's not media attention, it's in the court of law. 
So Mr. Peter B must be very clear about the fact that the matter is now before the Supreme Court, and it's only the Supreme Court that can decide on that uh, particular matter. You know, the problem we Nigerians are having is that we easily forget things. Take a look at Dr. Abati saying that Peter Obi's conference was needless. Really, what is it that Peter Obi said that Nigerians have not been talking about for the past how many weeks now? And those Igbo people saying that we should embrace peace. What peace are we embracing when the foundation is not really strong and solidified? I mean, there is no goal that you are getting without a good beginning and a good foundation. Guys, just hear the conclusion of this by Rufai Usini. So for us, it's for us to sit back now and introspect as a society. Because you see, I know you were talking this morning, and I'd like to disagree with you mildly, because we know people are suffering in Nigeria. We know people, you know, there's a lot of pain and all of that. This matter on ground is not a distraction, because this is where the leadership even comes from in the first place. You are wondering why people suffered constantly. It's because the process that brings about our leadership is suspect. There is no level of accountability. So you now get leaders that don't even think about the suffering of the people who can't, can't, can't provide solutions to the problem. How do you want to have it? How do you want to have it when you have a level of leadership like this in the first place? And check across board. It's not even the presidential level. Even governorship level. This was the same, con this is the same country where a governor was asked about the school he went to. He said the case is in courts. So, it is time for us to look deeply. I don't think we've done that enough as a country. Is this a country we truly want for ourselves? Can we be proud to bequeath this for the generation yet unborn? Or we want a country of technicalities as long as I'll get my way. I said, Robert, you want to 